now let us look at some important tables in sales which is under sales process these are the tables they that I want to share with you now VBAK is actually the sales order header sales order header data and uh, VBAP is the child child table for the sales order header with uh, sales order items so this one is a parent this one is a child and uh, this is delivery document header and this is delivery document items and this is billing document header and building document items this is SD condition types uh, not really types is SD condition itself so these these are the tables that I want to explain to you now let's go and look at it one by one just open up this screen which is SC16 and you will get this let us see what this table is storing press enter and choose our sales organization NY execute these are the sales documents that we created throughout our training can you recognize this sales document type just double click one and you can see the sales document value hundred dollars sales organization retail distribution channel retail division LP and so forth you can also see our pricing procedure that we used some of these are quite familiar right this is our sold to party that we have been using this is our CO area controlling area reference document is actually the quotation because the sales order is created from the quotation let me show that to you copy this just to recap your memory go to logistics sales and distribution sales quotation display and paste it and press enter it will take you to the quotation right the quotation number will be written as a reference document here in the sales order and uh, you can check all the fields on your own let's look at this VBAP VBAP will hold the child information of this uh, sales document header let me show you the difference press enter run click OK click OK now let's copy one of the sales document number from here and paste it here oops it doesn't copy let me copy now double click and copy this way around right now click execute now you can see this document number sales document number from VBAP is linking with B VBAK but this table stores only the uh, header information what I mean by header information is that let me open the sales order so that you can understand better press enter this is our order Header information is whatever information that you can see here and the child information is this so in the header information you will not see the material let me go and prove this to you nowhere here you will see the material 
let me just go back and look for material I search for material you will not find a material information here material availability is a, is a date is something else so you will not find the material so if you want to look at the material since this is found in the child section you need to go to the VBAP table which is here and enter the sales document number you can see the material number here right so this is one to many relationship one header can have many line items so the header and child table are tables are different this is a child table and this is the header table VBAK but the single uh, field that will link VBAK and VBAP the parent and child table will be the sales document number right because the sales document is shown here and in VBAP so based on the sales document you can link both the tables and filter down to a particular record now look at delivery document header same thing we have parent and child let's look at the parent first see what information we can get uh, I would like to filter choose this field selection choose sales organization click OK and click NY and you can see all the records by uh, sales organization NY if you want to see the total number of records in this table just press this number of entries you can see seven records in this table and uh, these are the delivery documents can you recognize this LGAP and so forth so delivery document is from our delivery document BL03N enter the delivery document number open delivery and you can open up our delivery document okay just go back here you can see planned goods movement which refers to this actual goods issue date and so forth loading date is somewhere over here this one loading date loading date is here but you will not see the information of materials and so forth because this can only be seen in the child table LIPS let me open up that let me close this press enter click OK OK you need to enter the delivery document just copy it from here and execute you can see the material information here alright so same thing goes to billing document VBRK and VBRP let's open it and let close LIKP let's see 16 again sorry and uh, VBRK header click OK select the sales organization and Y press enter execute so all the sales billing document that we created is appearing here just choose this go to the child table which is VBRP as enter Co paste the billing document here VBRK and uh, 
VBRP billing document execute you can see our child table here let's open our billing document close this open this go to display and this is our billing document you can see the header here so the payer information can be found in the VBRK sorry not here VBRK the payer information should be sh shown here over here but the material information will not be shown here it will be shown only in the child table here where is the material information looking for the material information it's here material entered okay the, the child information of not this one this is delivery document I'm looking for the billing document over here the bill quantity and so forth will be found only in the VBRP let me show you that let's go and look at the billing quantity net value and um, where is the quantity come back here and do a search it's much faster that way yeah billing quantity is over here I just found it up here so this quantity is the one which is shown here in the line items yeah but what is this extra table here I wanted to show this extra table because this is another child table of billing document which is also important because if you highlight this and go to conditions you can see another table here where the conditions are listed so where is this information can be found it can be found here in the convey table it won't be found in the VBRP table even though it's a child table so you can imagine billing document has got a special child table in addition to the billing document items which is SD conditions let me open it up this is quite an important table which I want to share with you because the users will be asking you to write a lot of custom report based on these three tables so it's good to know this table as well so the information that you're seeing here in the condition section here will be stored here and this convi table is linked to this VBRK table based on the document condition number so before I can filter the document condition uh, I mean the convi table I need to find the document condition number which is here so each billing document will will have a unique document condition number generated by system and assigned to it so it will not be same let me prove that to you if you go to the document condition and check compare it against the billing document number it is unique is system generated and it's unique you can see it here right it's not similar right so for each billing document the system will assign a separate con document condition number you could uh, be wondering why the system is not using the billing document to link between FB, VBRK and Convi table because even even the billing document is unique so rightfully SAP can design it in such a way that is linked using the billing document number why it wanted to come out with a separate unique number the reason is this Convi table is common to both uh, sales order uh, documents and also MM documents purchase order documents so in purchase orders are also using conditions it is stored in the same convey table so if it were to use the billing document number as a key to link VBRK and convey then there is a danger that in the purchase order there is a duplicate number used which is also 9003 in the purchase order if that happens then this will clash with the billing document number here so that is the reason for each billing document and purchase order the system will assign a separate number 
as a unique number so that all the conditions can be sta stored in the same table which is conv this is the reason let's go and copy this document condition yeah this is the one now we go to conv table enter the document condition execute it and we can see all the condition types that is shown here let me just check 369 PR00 can be seen here and uh, under ten dollars condition base value is hundred and ten dollars is shown here which is correct condition no this is this is amount condition value is different condition value should be shown here as well I'm looking for it let's double click condition value is over here so what we do we go back here and remove the unwanted fields and go to format and choose fields I'm going to remove it I want to keep con v condition type amount only the important fields condition value condition base value let me see copy this condition value is here kpr00 condition value is here and mwst is 0 and 0 s key cash discount is 0 as well 0 here VPRS is 30 and VPRS shown here is 30 so this is how the system extracts or stores the condition value in the convi table I'll link it back to the uh, billing document using the document condition alright these are the important tables that I wanted to share with you under this topic sorry not here this is important tables in master data over here important tables in sales